Another area of grief that probably needs to be addressed because it's out there in the culture is this, what's called the five stages of grief. And a lot of people have heard of this by Dr. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, who was a psychiatrist who actually worked with dying people. So many people equate this with the five stages of death, but actually it really was about the five stages of grieving. However, um, even as she was dying herself, she acknowledged that these stages of grief are just guidelines and um, helpful concepts, but not necessarily a linear path toward grief. They don't all occur for every single person. Some may not occur at all, um, but just sort of some guidelines to uh, be aware of. So those five stages that are classically heard about are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Since then, uh, grief theorists and researchers, including Dr. Kubler-Ross, have sort of changed from a sense of stages of grief to more of a sense of tasks of mourning. And they involve more broad-reaching concepts like accepting the reality of loss, working through the pain of grief, adjusting to the environment in which the deceased is missing, and finding enduring connection with the deceased while one moves forward, embarking on a life without that loved one. Um, they can be ways to remember the person who died, developing a new self-identity, uh, embracing or approaching the pain of loss while seeking support from others, both in the acute phase of loss and over time, and seeking meaning uh, in what has happened. So, this is the um, task for the person who is grieving, the person who is mourning. These are several tasks that we all uh, work our way through, uh, not at a set time, not in a set order, but just so people can be aware of what is facing a person who's grieving a death. Um, and I feel like the more we educate our clients and family members, if they want to know about this process, the more um, they can understand their own symptoms, their own internal experiences, and the less alone they can feel knowing that there are people out there who understand this process, who can support it, but also uh, that it's really a unique experience. Nobody can judge them for what they're going through and where they are is okay. But if they want to talk about it, we're here to help explain any of those issues for them. Um, and I think these, again, are really hard topics for adolescents and young adults and their family members to broach at home or among themselves, and we're always here to help facilitate any of those discussions if they should wish.